Hello again. Today we're going to be hooking up the line set to this brand new A coil. First, you need to know what size fittings your line set is. This one in particular is a three quarter inch with a three eighths bottom, you know, liquid line. So, in preparation, there's some instructions on the front of this A coil. It says that there's a valve stem inside. You gotta depress that to relieve the pressure. Then cut this thing, and then take this thing apart, put it back together again, and uh, you know a few other things. So I've already got this guy started, got everything prepped. Before you put the fittings together, you're gonna need sandpaper that basically aluminum oxide sandpaper and your metal cutters or your, your pipe tube cutters some flux, some solder and your fittings I'm going to be connecting this 3 quarter inch elbow to this short piece of 3 quarter tubing connected to a coupler on the inside of the A coil which is then connected to the rest of the of the equipment there and then I'm going to uh, side of the three A's. Now this particular fitting came damaged a little bit so I had to do some repair work as far as getting it back to its shape and by doing uh, a little bit of pressing with some pliers I was able to get the shape uh, roughly and then I used some scrap uh, tubing and fit it in there and then just massaged it in there tapped it with a little bit of a <coughs> tapped it with the pliers and it's now formed the right way so before you start soldering you're going to need to sand your fittings and your pipe that you're going to be working with I've already done that you can see that material right there that's the flux and I'm going to be applying flux inside the fitting and on the actual tubing itself. So I've already applied the flux to the inside of this fitting on both sides. Now when you're working with flux and solder and all this uh, uh, other things with pure gas and, and, and that stuff, you need to make sure that you don't have any impurities in your solder or in your flux or on your pipe. That's why you use the aluminum oxide, sandpaper, it gets all the oxidiz oxidiz oxidation off of the pipe and gets a nice clean surface and also roughs it up to get some smooth uh, or some surface area uh, in order for the solder to flow. So now that I've got this soldered up, I'm going to go ahead and solder this side and you can apply it semi-liberally. You don't want to have too much on there. Now, keep in mind that I am an amateur. I'm getting better. This is the second furnace that I put in by myself. And uh, it, it, you can see a thin layer of flux right there. You can even, you know, put more on there, but it's basically just going to get hot and cook off uh, as soon as you put the flame to it. So it doesn't really matter how much you put on there as long as there's a little bit all the way around to help facilitate the solder flow. So it's kind of going on. It needs a little bit of help. So I'm going to take my tube cutter and then just tap it a little bit until it's seated. Alright, so it's all the way in there. And now what you need to do is prior to having this all set up you kind of already have to know where you're going to have your line set run what direction it's going to go whether it's going to go up uh, you know left right down wherever so this particular one is going to be going up and to the left same thing with this but you want to make sure you're not blocking this door so that this is accessible and, and easy to open so I'm going to have it about 45 degrees up and it's going to go to the left of my duct and then come back um, come back this 
this way. So, what you need to do also is get all your fittings in place. So, you need to test it everything, have it all run, and get it going. So, next, I'm going to sand another short piece and hook it up to a reducer because I'm going to be running uh, 5 eighths uh, out of this 8 coil. So that's how big my line set is. And the line sets typically come in 5 eighths and 3 quarters. It just depends on the size of the unit, how you know far away it is, how uh, big your condenser is, a few other things. But the unit outside is a two two ton, so I can run five eighths. Anything above a uh, three ton, I believe you have to. Uh, and there's the next piece. And I've already sanded this short section, as you can see, with this oxidized pipe here. That's this right there. And after you uh, cut the tube. You're going to want to get all the, the little flakes off, um, deburr it, whatever you want to call it, uh, clean up the inside, that way it's uh, not got any rough edges, so it fits better in your fitting, and also um, it doesn't constrict you know, the gas flow or whatever. Uh, I don't know if that really matters, but you know, sure it matters to somebody. So here's my reducer, five eighths, three quarter. I've already sanded this one. Going to flux inside. Make sure you got a nice, good coating all the way around. Unrolling the line set. 
do is clean out the old hole where the old line set used to go. There's the line set. 